Will Ben Jealous pull Maryland Democrats together or apart? The day after Ben Jealous won Maryland's Democratic nomination for governor, he appeared on a left-leaning MSNBC talk show and was asked the question, rolling establishment Democrats, roiling, excuse me, establishment Democrats. Was he so liberal that he will help a Republican win, break apart the Democratic Party? Jealous largely dodged the premise of the question. Go ahead, call me a socialist, he answered, bringing up his latest job. That doesn't change the fact that I'm a venture capitalist. Ooh, Ben Jealous said that. It also doesn't change the fact that Jealous' platform is further to the left than any other politician in Maryland's Democrats have ever nominated for governor. His progressive campaign delivered a decisive victory Tuesday over the establishment's candidate, emphasizing the rift between the Democrats' left flank and moderates. Now, see, here's my question. What are the moderates hanging on to? What are the moderates? Like, what's their... What is the policy that they think is better? That's my question that I've been asking since the primaries in 2016. What policy do you prefer? And you know how many answers I've got? None. None. The answer is but Trump. That's the answer. So it's like, well, what do you have? Well, guess what? We tried to beat Trump with centrism. It didn't work. It failed. And it has continued to fail. So, what, I mean, what's the argument here? Like, what is the argument here? This is MSNBC desperately trying to maintain the status quo because they're profiting from it. This is, there's no platform over on the center, which, by the way, calling them centrist isn't fair. They're just conservatives in denial. That's what this wing of the party is. They're conservatives in denial, and that's what the Democratic establishment is. But policy why like, like, what do they prefer? Like, like, oh, well, I'm a... No one's ever been able to answer that for me. If anybody here identifies as a, a more centrist, whatever that even means today, give me one policy. Well, I'll, I'll mail you a free t-shirt. Give me one policy that you like better than a progressive platform. Give me one idea that you think would work better, that would help working people. Are you pro-fracking? Because guess what? That ain't helping anybody other than some corporations. Are you against living wages? How the hell does that help the worker? Healthcare? Do you want to see people not have it? Well, guess what? Paul Ryan's got the party for you. Give me one idea. One idea. So this is a dumb leading question. That's all this is. This is just a leading, fear-mongering, hyperbolized question. Was he so liberal he'll help a Republican win? He's offering something counter to his opponent, and he's what the party wants. I think that's a nonsensical straw man, and I think that we tried beating the right with censure. Well, we didn't want to do it. We were forced into doing it. They tried beating Trump with nothing. You got to try to beat him with something. And again, the centrist wing. Give me one, give me one idea. I've been asking for two years. I have yet to have one. Even family members of mine, I couldn't. <laughs> I got into a shouting match with my cousin. My cousin who worked on Hillary's campaign. Who was a great guy. A fantastic person. We just saw a couple things differently. Most things we see eye to eye on. But strategy, we saw things a little differently. And I, 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 we got, it got down to shouting matches. And I say, give me one policy you prefer over the Bernie Sanders platform. Give me one. He, he couldn't do it. He just said, well, well we got to be Trump and blah, blah, blah. Centrism is better. That's what he said. And you know what he said to me recently? He said, Ron, you were right this time. You were right about everything. I was wrong. And it wasn't an I good told you so moment. <laughs> it really wasn't. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. 
And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Flacone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on Patreon.com slash Ron Placone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.